Those are things you're looking for. Now let's go into, uh, let's go back to the other side now. I want to talk about some of the backcountry ways that you can keep your horse. Uh, let's start out with this quick draw tie line. I did a video on this. Um, on my eSport video, I did this little thing where I showed how it worked, had a horse tied off to it. They actually were selling these at the Southern Equine Expo. There's a man that sells them. We met him last year and he took, he said, hey man, just take this, go use it. Don't promote it if you don't like it, but if you really <laughs> like it, maybe make me a video or something. So I did because I really, really like this thing. And I'm gonna have to do this in a kind of a, a weird way because we don't have trees, but uh, one of the great things about it is it does have tree savers. We don't ever tie our ropes to trees and tie our horses to trees. Um, were any of you at my lecture at Southern Equine Expo? We had such a good lecture there. And one of the things that I talked about is to leave it better than you found it as trail riders. We have that responsibility to be good stewards of what we've been given. Because we don't have rights to ride in those places. We have a privilege to ride in those places and it can be taken away. So we want to make sometimes sure that we're we not take liked. care of it. Yeah, sometimes so it's good to make a good name for ourselves. That's right. Sometimes we're not like because we tear things up and we don't take care of things. And, and we want to make sure that we're always setting a good example for everybody out there. Hopefully we can be the best out of anybody that's on that trail. Uh, so these are tree savers and these just keep from marring the bark on the trees. And I'll show you how it works. I have already, already have one on this trailer here on this gooseneck. It just comes out. You can put it on most trees. It's really big. I'll put one on this flagpole over here and we'll stretch that thing across. And just take it, throw it back through the loop, pull it tight. And then um, the thing I like about this tie line is that it's not like the original kind that you use. Like I spent a lot of years just tying ropes and tying special knots and slip knots and things to to get my horses tied off. The good thing about this one is you don't have to tie all those knots. You just bring it out. It comes with all this stuff in the package. It even has these little clips to separate your horses in line. You just clip it on there. And you can pull on this as tight as you want. I'm not going to do it really tight on that flagpole, but you can see how fast that works to be able to put your tie line up. Um, I like high lines. They, they keep my horses separated. I can put space them out as much as I want. And uh, I don't have to tie them to anything lower than their head. When you tie a horse lower than his head, if he does set back or pull back, it can cause damage to your horse. If he's tied above his head, these ropes especially, they'll stretch and give with the horse and then they'll bring him back to it again. So it's a really safe option. He's not going to get tangled up in his ropes. And you tie your lead rope onto this, just put a quick release on it. If anything happens, it's got a little button right back here that you just push and it releases everything. And it actually comes, if you get it really tight, it comes with a key that you use just to push in here and unlock it. All right, so it has everything it needs and you can use that handle to tighten it up. So that's a quick draw tie line. I've got this bag, everything fits into the bag real nice and neat and that's been really valuable for our trips. Now let's go into some of the more backcountry stuff because you're probably not gonna carry one of these. Um, I do use this on the high line. I use a collar sometimes just to be able to have uh, the rope coming out the top of the neck instead of from underneath the chin. Mm. And that's on a trained horse that's used to collars. So it's just a collar only? You don't put it through a halter? No. It goes around the neck. And on a system like this, it works really good because, it, again, it keeps the rope going above the horse and, uh, and it, it doesn't choke you because that rope will give. The other thing that I use is hobbles. Does anybody know how to hobble their horse? Okay, 
So hobbles are really valuable if you're truly in the back country. You can carry these, they're very light, and if you have trained your horse well with these, they get along with them really good. Uh, one of the things that I've done is to put this on, it goes around the front legs, like this, and they can move, and they can hop, but they can't run off. So it slows them down, it allows them to graze, and that's really valuable when you're in the back country, because if you were riding, let's say for five, six days, your horse can't eat so you're you know if you put him on a high line you've been riding him all day and you put him on a high line at night he's going without food for long periods of time you know i heard this study said that a horse can start developing ulcers within three hours you know that's so fast when you consider stress and not eating at the same time so uh, we try to make it to where our horses get the opportunity to eat and what we do is at night we'll have a watchman if we're in a group uh, hopefully they stay awake they, uh, we tie this onto the horses and then we put a glow stick on their tail and we put a bear bell on them so that we can hear them. And you'll be surprised how light you sleep when you know your horse is loose. <laughs> so if you get to where you can't hear that bear bell, you wake up really quick, but there's always somebody managing the horses. But these are really great. They have different types that you can use. It just depends on the kind of horse you can. Now this one, is a little different. I don't use this system very often. Um, this is actually what's called a picket. A lot of people think that this is a picket. It's, it's actually not. This is a picket. So you would drive this into the ground. It has a swivel on it. And then you would put this around one of the horse's front legs. And you have a long rope, usually 30 feet, coming from that to the swivel and they make crop rows so just everywhere you go i mean they make crop circles so they're always making these little circles you can move it over hammer it in and then they're going to make another circle and they get to eat again these are things that you practice with your horse on a regular basis before you go you don't just throw it on it. <laughs> so Please. this is part of your weekly routine of working with your horse you have this in your yard and you're practicing these things your horse gets very comfortable and smart with it 